Nigerians are still groaning over the high prices of foodstuffs in the open market as the effect of inflation bite harder. In this special report, we take a cursory look at the issue of insecurity as it affects food production and inflation. Food security is an indispensable prerequisite for the survival of mankind and his economic activities, including food production. Food is different from other commodities because of its inevitability for survival and existence. In Nigeria, there is high level of food insecurity for the past four decades as a result of neglect in production when oil has become the major export product. Um, but recently, more especially with the coming of the COVID-19, which has exposed our weaknesses in terms of uh, uh, diversification of our economy, the need for us to look at some other sectors uh, to boost the economy, agriculture has become a key um, sector that we should be looking at. The prices of foodstuff today leave much to be desired. From a recent survey, the prices of staples including gari, rice and beans have almost doubled in three months. As buyers lament, the traders attribute the increment to diverse reasons. Back of Olu to this one, we are selling 57,000. 57,000? Yeah. And how much do you sell Olu? Olu, we are selling 40. Two months ago, we are selling this one, it's like 47,000. I just buy like paint to it. I think before it was um, 15,800, the can up. The same can be said for vegetables. For tomatoes, although the price has reduced in recent weeks, this buyer says she bought for half the price months ago. For tubers and other root crops, the prices have reduced considerably. While some traders say it is as a result of farming activities, the chairman of the Mount Rove market, Sheho Jibril, believes it is all a factor of the men in supply. For your quality, this one, 3,035. But now we are selling 2,500 euros. It keeps fluctuating because sometimes you can get it lower. Once it is ripe in the farm, you have no option than to bring it to the market and sell. Of course, when you bring it to the market, it also depends on the demand of the people are stuck in the market. Like if you come to the market, you have a lot of trucks that come with the same product you bring. You may not sell it more expensive than you're expecting. Farming. Is, um, is, is, is only uh, profitable when the result of it is uh, uh, food insecurity because every home, every family, everyone will want to have something to eat and be well uh, properly fed. The food inflation in Nigeria has seen food prices rise to double digit figures while Nigerians earn less income. The rising cost of food is caused by many factors, but most notable among them is the incessant conflict for grazing space between farmers and herders, which has resulted in fewer farmers going to their farms and less food being produced. Surely, security has uh, affected uh, production. But as I mentioned earlier, that's why we are looking at uh, not just food insecurity, we are also looking at um, boosting um, uh, our economy through agriculture. Uh, recently, it was announced that 100,000 small-scale rice farmers have been enlisted to benefit from the federal government's anchor borrower scheme for the 2021 wet farming in Adamawa state. But the challenge of diversion of input still persists. We need to get to the root of it by identifying the real farmers who uh, must be guaranteed by their local uh, traditional institution. We also have a, a no person that will stand as a guarantor. And then, uh, most importantly, we also visit the farms. We are we deploy technology. We do job mapping and make sure that we identify the farms. And uh, such farms can be visualized at any time and see the progress uh, there. The decline in the rate of increase in the Consumer Price Index indicates that the inflation rate in Nigeria might have peaked and is on its way downward. However, it is still worth noting that an inflation rate of 17.75% is still way higher than the 11.02% recorded before the closure of the land borders in 2019.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.